dumb Christian guys. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Many seek the face of a ruler, but it is from the Lord that a man gets justice. An unjust man is an abomination to the righteous, but one whose way is straight is an abomination to the wicked. Wow. Man, that just kind of sets the tone right there. Right? That's, if everybody would just follow that, this would be great. But it's so interesting that the last one says, the way of the righteous is an abomination to the wicked. And likewise. Right? So, I mean, but we can see that there are people who think they're being righteous. Right. And they're, like, offended by people who are actually being righteous. Okay. On that vein right? of thought. Yes. On that vein of thought. We're, we're kind of dancing around the, the idea, the, the liberal conservative platforms here. Okay, sure. Um, and I'm going to speak in gross overgeneralizations. Okay. Like, it does not apply to everybody. But yeah. generally what I've seen, and having grown up in a household, a divided household, two houses as we've talked about. Yeah. Um, one very liberal, the other very conservative. And I mean very right. um, opposite. I got to see... Uh, all sides of the spectrum or all, you know, both sides uh, so to speak and what I've discovered is the desires of both camps are not so dissimilar Mm. people no matter what your bent is tend to want the same things on the conservative side generally speaking they hold true to what we'll call Christian values. Okay. Um, you know, the conservative, you know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you and that kind of thing. And not that every conservative is a Christian. Sure. Um, and not that every liberal is not a Christian. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them. Yeah. That are. Okay. Um, seeking what's best for humanity looks different um if you don't seek god first then you're trying to make heaven on earth if that makes any sense um make this planet the best that it can be because this is all we have Mm -hmm. and if you are going to destroy the planet then i don't like you um this is the kind of the premise that I see in the liberal camp. Mm-hmm. Um, the, of course, the, the, and on the Christian side of things, the conservative, we know that there's a, this is just temporary. And there's yeah. an afterlife. And we're, we're to be good stewards, it says. Yes. But it's not the epitome of our existence. I, I just, I just, I think it's so interesting because, okay, you're saying really they're not that dissimilar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's even so. I would say yeah, there's Christians on both sides, both camps, and we're all people with a desire. Look, Bible says even the world is groaning to be made right. Like mm-hmm. everybody knows something is off kilter. Right, it's not the way that it should be. And everyone is just trying to figure out how do we make this Mm -hmm. what it's supposed to be. But that's where it divides is do we let, do we put it in the hands of God and do we say this ultimately is his and we let him do what he will with it or do we say, well, no, it's our responsibility to fix it. And I actually Mm -hmm. used to be like kind of of the mindset like, oh, as Christians, we're supposed to fix the world and make it ready for Jesus' return. Like, we need to oh. m- make the world good. Okay. But then... That's you, like getting yourself cleaned up just so you can go to church. But that's, that's yeah. the, like, the whole point of Jesus coming is that we can't. Right, and it's clear. 
Yeah, it's like evident. the only thing we can do in our nature is continue to break things. I have this saying that we're just broken things breaking things. That's okay. And Jesus fixes things. Okay. Right? right so, right okay. so then it's like, where are we putting our faith in what are we hoping is going to fix it? And I, man, I used to be of the mindset like, okay, if we can just get our shit together, like we mm -hmm. can do it. But man, the more that I read the Bible and the more that I really look at myself, I'm right. like, the, be the, good, the greatest thing that I can do is as broken as I am. Uh, was there's a verse um, through our through our weakness through our um, mm -hmm. brokenness God is in our weakness He is strong. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like a requirement. Yeah. We have to acknowledge that. So like think I I, I think of myself as like a plate, and every time I sin I break the plate. Chunk off. Right. And I try to re I want to be a whole plate again, but the best that I can repair the plate is still brokenness. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the only one who can completely repair, restore, and fix the plate, right. can fix me. Right. And so I want to fix the world. The best I can do is as broken as I am. I can't do huh. better than where I'm at. Right. So I need someone who is better than me to fix it. The only, I mean, you're probably better than me, but no. the only person better than any of us, because we're all on the same playing field when it comes to sin and brokenness, right? Absolutely. Like, you know, the no sin is worse than the other. Basically what that means is everyone equally needs someone better than us to fix us. Yes. Jesus. Okay. And the acknowledgement of that is the key. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you don't acknowledge it, then, well, first of all, if you don't acknowledge it, you're not going to seek it. And if you don't seek it, you can't acknowledge it. Uh, so the other camp is is using their own power. I mean, if you don't believe in God, what I, do you have? See, the thing is, we can divide into camps, but I think even on the conservative side, it's there are plenty of people who think we need to obey God, and we think in our obedience somehow we're like contributing to accomplishing his plan and his mm -hmm. purpose. Like, oh, I'm helping God. Like, what? Right, right. <laughs> like, we're right. helping God as much as a two-year-old is yeah. helping you fix the car, exactly. right? And I you're like, you're doing something. just hold the flashlight, right? Right. <laughs> right. You're just making it worse. <laughs> you're shining around all the, you know, the trees and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> trying to change the flat. <laughs> right, right. Right. So I, I don't think it matters which camp we're on. I think it just matters... Are we willing to seek and acknowledge? Because okay. on both sides of the fence, there's this idea of I can, can, I can help fix, I can make it better somehow. Yeah. Dumb Christian guys.